Hello everybody. Welcome to our upstream downstream word problems mini lecture. A type of word problems that populates college algebra textbooks mostly in terms of boats and rivers, but sometimes also in terms of airplanes and wind goes as follows. A boat needs three hours to travel 10 miles upstream. On the way back downstream, it needs only two hours. What is the speed of the boat in still water and what is the river speed? I admit that this is not the kind of problem that pops up frequently in our lives, but that's not the purpose. It is just a practice problem. In such a problem, there are five quantities. The speed of the boat in still water, which we call B, the speed R of the river, the distance D between starting point and turning point, so the total distance traveled is 2D, the time for traveling upstream we may want to denote by TU with a subscript U for up, and the time for traveling downstream by a TD with a subscript D for down. Typically three of these quantities are given, they are known and constants. The other two quantities are the variables. How are these quantities related? We know that distance equals rate times time, or that rate equals distance divided by time. It is now important to understand that the rate of the boat as observed from the banks is not equal to the speed of the boat in still water. Actually, the speeds for moving upstream and moving downstream are different. Upstream is hard and slow, and downstream is fast and easy. When the boat goes downstream, the stream pushes. The stream speed adds to the boat speed in still water, so the actual speed, as observed from the banks, is B plus R. For the upstream part, the river speed has to be subtracted, so the actual speed for this part is B minus R. If the river speed equals the boat speed in still water, if B equals R, then upstream the boat moves at an actual speed B minus R equals zero, in other words, stands still. So the actual speeds are B minus R, respectively B plus R, the distance is D in both cases, and the time it takes are TU, respectively TD. Therefore, we have two equations, one for upstream and one for downstream. B minus R equals D over TU, the upstream equation, and B plus R equals D over TD, the downstream equation. Then we plug in the three constants and obtain two equations in two variables. This system of equations we can and do solve using substitution method, solving one of the equations for one of the variables, and then substituting this expression for the variable in the other equation to get one equation in one variable, which we solve. Depending on which two quantities are unknown, which are the two variables, and also of course depending on the three constants given, we get different versions of the problem. So let's look at our example again. A boat needs three hours to travel 10 miles upstream. On the way back downstream, it needs only two hours. What is the speed of the boat in still water and what is the river speed? We know the quantities D equals 10, TU equals three, TD equals two, the distance and the times Plugging these numbers in our equation templates above, we get the following two equations. B minus R equals 10 over 3 and B plus R equals 10 over 2. Two equations in the variables B and R. Now we solve the first equation for B by adding R on both sides and get B equals 10 over 3 plus R then we replace b in the second equation by this expression and get 10 over 3 plus r, the former b, plus r equals 10 over 2, or 2r equals 10 over 2 minus 10 over 3, which is equal to 5 over 3, and we get r equals half of 5 over 3, which is 5 over 6. Plugging this into b equals 10 over 3 plus r, we obtain b equals 10 over 3 plus 5 over 6, which is 25 over 6. 
I'll leave it to you to check. B, R and D appear in both equations, but the two times T U and T D only in one of them. Therefore, if one or both of the times are unknown, then one of the equations contains only one of the variables, making our job a little bit easier. So look at example 2. A boat needs 3 hours and 20 minutes to travel 15 miles upstream. If the speed of the boat in still water is 10 miles per hour, how long will the boat need to get back where it started? We know d equals 15, b equals 10, and we also know tu. But be careful! Tu is not equal to 3.2. 3 hours and 20 minutes are 3 one third, which is about 3.33 hours. We could also express it in minutes, 200 minutes. But since the speed is given in miles per hour, we would get a conflict there. Or would have to recalculate the speed into miles per minute first. So let's keep it at 3 one third. With Tu equals 3 one third, we get 10 minus r equals 15 divided by 3 one third, and 10 plus r equals 15 over td. The first equation has only one variable r, so we can solve this for r. We get 10 minus 15 over 3 one third equals r, or r equals 10 minus 15 over 10 over 3, which is 10 minus 45 over 10 which is equal to 100 minus 45 over 10, which is equal to 54, 5 over 10, 5.5. Plugging this into the second equation, we get 10 plus 5.5 equals 15 over td, or 15.5 times td equals 15, or td equals 15 divided by 15.5, a little less than one hour. Does it check? Since b equals 10 and r equals 5.5, the upstream and downstream speeds are 10 minus 5.5, which is 4.5, and 10 plus 5.5, which is 15.5. And yes, 4.5 equals 15 over 3 one third. And it seems reasonable that 15.5 is about 15 over about 1. Okay, that's it for today. In the second part of the mini lecture, we will look at slightly more complicated versions of downstream upstream, having three variables and three equations. Some of these problems will require us to solve quadratic equations. We will also discuss why you always need to check thoroughly. Thanks for listening.